gonna need is tons of styrene sheets and other aftermarket products. Tons of aftermarket products, also aircrafts, photo etch, and on what have you. Aside from that, you're gonna need several sheets of styrene. Building the Enterprise kit, the Tamiya one, will never be enough. Uh, as you know, a lot of uh, comments out there, uh, especially the rivet counters, is there isn't any available kit out there that it isn't perfect. That is perfect, I mean. It's almost always that you have to uh, either do scratch building or uh, buy some upgrades. So in, in this case scenario, the USS Enterprise Tamiya kit um, we'll definitely have to do a lot of scratch building and uh, you need to be buying a lot of plenty of aftermarket products if you want it as much as possible to be as near as accurate and have I got a, a blueprint out of this I would have definitely be more closer to accuracy but unfortunately uh, I don't have that resource right now so I've been browsing a lot online so and this is what I can afford right now and the best uh, I believe from my research out there the best uh, aftermarket products or upgrade sets for the Tamiya kit would be the gold metal models and uh, white ensign uh, you will have to of course at times uh, have to do with Edward because these are well stocked compared to the two that I mentioned a while ago. Uh, I believe when I browsed the gold medal, they, they have decided to uh, no longer produce the uh, decals for the Enterprise, unfortunately. So you would have to scour the eBay markets or sellers out there. So, yeah. My build is not going to be as accurate, but... Uh, Definitely when you build the USS Enterprise, you're gonna be needing to scratch build the hangar deck or hangar bay uh, In most cases if you want to have it as exciting and as detailed as possible you have to do that Now you're gonna be doing a plenty of online research if you don't have any uh, books on hand and Mind you there will be a scarcity there and it's up to you to really get the good websites or online uh, materials out there and it's gonna be plentiful you're gonna be doing a lot of research and you're gonna be coming out with so many pictures out there that you you, you, you might need to uh, discern and uh, screen a little bit so here are some websites that I free commercials for you guys so here are the websites that I browsed on uh, for me to be able to come up with the nearest uh, reference and um, build. So there are a few out there. So this is the first step, I'm going to be measuring the length, the width, the height of this for me to be able to put in the, uh, the below deck hanger. Uh, I've seen other builds, excellent built that uh, at most, most of some others did their hangar bay uh, scratch building and uh, wow it was awesome so I'm going to try and attempt one too.
this is some crude way of me uh, doing a template for the uh, hanger deck and I started off with a cartolina or a poster paper this is one way for me to be able to measure and uh, come up with a template this saves me a lot of uh, styrene plastic mistakes because styrene here is really expensive so by doing first this template I'm able to more or less uh, cut through smoothly without uh, so much error with the uh, uh, styrene sheet as a result this is just the border uh, I was able to come up with this styrene already now if you would do your own version I would prefer you you, you pick a styrene that which is uh, a lot thicker than this otherwise it'll spare you much of the guards the railings so in my case since this is too, too soft I would have to put some support in the middle just to make this uh, sturdy uh, enough and flat but uh, here it is uh, I'm gonna zoom this I hope you can see the pin nose that I made and these are guides uh, I don't know if this is visible it's pinholes this will guide me whether or not I will put the white marks or just the gray ones the uh, hanger deck layer this is how it looks like here we go So I've done scratch building the uh, hangar bay interior of the USS Enterprise and mind you I'm not gonna say that this is going to be 100% accurate no it, it is it isn't um, based on tons of research online and some manuals and pictures uh, this is what I can best represent my understanding of the hangar bay de uh, detail of the USS Enterprise uh, not unless you know I, I I am a former US Navy man and I have gotten hold of a blueprint then uh, I would safely say okay this is 100% accurate so this one is not so this is the interior I decided not to open this you know? so since I decided not to open this this one's gonna be seen from outside not too much detail is gonna be seen on this side but nonetheless I uh, I, I placed some details over here Right. Again, this is a 1 over 350 scale. Now, next process will be I'll be doing already the lighting. So I'm going to be doing the roof with at least a much thicker styrene, sturdy, so it doesn't bend too much like this one. 
I'm gonna put this here and make some holes already for the LED lights. And that should be it for the interior. And then I'll wait for the decals to come. I ordered online from uh, David Scale. Unfortunately, the gold medals have been uh, put out of production, so. the lights or the LED lights LED lights and if you notice there are horizontal lines that I did it's about 20 20 lines and then on the fifth uh, using some references I, I started to make holes uh, what I have here are some lights that I bought from my local store and I patterned this these holes accordingly my arm thought I patterned it after that. You notice the holes are patterned up after this. Now, how do I make holes? I use the old reliable drill bit set. What I do is, based on this uh, markings of the pencil, I carve it out. Like this. Then you focus it. Yeah, after drilling, this is what you're gonna be able to see later on. Punch some holes so the lights can come through. Then I'm gonna line up some. Uh, Roofing, roofing wires, and what have, you, what have you, just to make this complicated. So I painted the interiors already with white. Well, this is glossy white. Using the uh, Bosni spray paint white number 40. And you can see here all the walls and the interiors and the values have been painted. 
well, not, not exactly the back, but inside, from where it is visible. Here you go. So I scratch built the uh, drop tank racks. The ones that you see up in the ceiling of the Enterprise hangar bay. I don't know if you can see this. So these are the uh, drop tank uh, hanging racks hanging above the ceiling of the hangar bay interior. So I scratched built this from uh, sheet styrene using the chopper board right there. This is what you're gonna see afterwards. It's gonna hang up in the ceiling. You see that? It's hanging. I've placed some of them already. construct the uh, trumpeter 1 over 350 FA-18C Hornet this is part of the arsenal of the uh, USS Enterprise well I hope I got it correct also so I, I got two sets of these F-18s and we'll see I have another set this was given to me by my friend uh, I'm gonna use the uh, Lockheed S S30 SPA Viking. The level of detail for the aircraft set is very very different from each other. This one's from Trumpeter, this one's from Tamiya. So if you see the Trumpeter version, they have all these uh, panel lines, uh, other details, the exhaust, the gas tank. Compared to the Tamiya's very very basic uh, mold or representation of the aircraft. Now, for those of you who happen to be into accuracy and detail, you'd go for the trumpeter. Now, for those of you who have a financial constraint or, you know, uh, just to build it uh, through and through, sort of like an out-of-the-box, 
then you would have to contend with the Tamiya set, the Tamiya aircraft set. So this is the F-18 uh, C Hornet from uh, the Trumpeter 1350 aircraft series. This one is the Tamiya. So this this crash crane here with the crane, small forklift, two, large forklift, two or pair, and then four sets of um, what do you call this? Uh, tow tractors, and then a pair of fire tractors, and a pair of tow bars. And then a pair of crash truck. So this is from the uh, MRC brand, gallery models. We carry your deck equipment. So after this, I'm gonna prime, prime it, and then paint it. 
there are seams in this crash uh, crane so I'm gonna have to cover this with the uh, hoodie I don't know if you are able to see this and there's the seam in between so I'm gonna cover this with the So these are the additional sets, aircraft and uh, tractor equipment ready for priming. So these are the uh, F-18 Super Hornets, the S-3 Viking and a mixture of uh, MRC, Tamiya and Trumpeter. watching. Scale modeling is fun. Copyright 2020 at Ivan Terrible. I am not an expert but I love creating dioramas. See you on my next build.